guys, Buzz here with VaporizerWizard.com. Today I'll be going over the Volcano Vaporizer. Now the Volcano is a desktop convection vaporizer and it's made in Germany by a company called Storrs & Bickel. Now it works by inflating balloons like this through a forced air system on top of this chamber. It also comes in a couple different styles. You get to choose between the Classic, which is this one right here. It has a turn dial temperature adjustment in front. Or you can choose the other model, which is the Digit. It has a big digital temperature display located on the front right here and easy to use buttons to adjust the temperature. Now you also get to choose between the solid valve attachment and the easy valve attachment. Now I have the solid valve right here and I'll get more into this later on in the video and explain the differences between both options. In my opinion the Volcano is the most efficient and easiest way to vape your herbs, oils and concentrates. Uh, over the years I've owned plenty of desktop and portable vaporizers and I always find myself coming back to the Volcano. This is currently my favorite and highest rated vaporizer of all portable and desktop units. At the time of this video the Volcano will run you $539 for the Classic and $669 for the digit. You can click the links below in the about section to get the current price and a full review on my website. Now this does seem like a steep price for a vaporizer, but I truly believe it's worth every penny. Overall the taste, vapor quality, and design of this vaporizer are hands down the best on the market. So first we'll talk about the features, I'll go over how to use the Volcano, do a quick vape session, go over the pros and cons, and this is just the best place to pick one up. Okay, so here's the Volcano Vaporizer. Like I mentioned in the beginning, there are two types of models to choose from. The model you see here is the Classic, which has a rotary turn dial temperature adjustment ranging from level 1, which is 266 degrees Fahrenheit, to level 9, which is 446 degrees Fahrenheit. Now the digital version of the Volcano is called the Digit, and it has a digital interface to adjust the temperature on the front. Now the main differences between the two are the price. The Digit will run you an extra $130, and it also comes with an automatic shutoff feature. Both models are almost identical minus the front interface. Which model you choose is completely up to you. I decided to get the Classic to save myself the extra 130 bucks. Now you also get to choose between the solid valve, which you see here, and the easy valve. The solid valve allows you to create custom balloon sizes, the chamber and mouthpiece are higher quality, and the replacement balloons will run you about $5 to $10 per year. Now in order to use the solid valve, you just fill up the balloon, attach the mouthpiece, and press in to release the vapor. The easy valve has two balloon size options and doesn't require any cleaning at all. However, the replacement balloons will run you about $25 to $50 a year. I decided to go with the solid valve, valve attachment to save on overall costs, and I like to create my own balloon sizes as well. Now here's the filling chamber for the solid valve attachment. This will hold the herbs and sit on top of the volcano. When using any vaporizer, you want to make sure and grind up your herbs pretty fine, and then with this one you just layer the bottom of the chamber. Now one of the reasons the Volcano has such great vapor quality and density is because of the large surface area that is heated. It allows the herbs to be vaped evenly and consistently. Also for best results, I do recommend stirring up your herbs a little bit after a couple balloons. Now one of the downfalls to the Volcano is the amount of time it takes to heat up. The average heat up time is around 3 minutes. Um, sometimes what I like to do is just leave my Volcano turned on. So this way when I want to use it, I just throw on the chamber and I can fill a balloon. Now, I've had mine for over four years and no problems with leaving it on. I can't say that I recommend doing this and the manufacturer will also advise against this, but I'm too impatient to wait for it to heat up. I guess the best way to deal with the heat up time would be to plug it in and begin heating before you grind your herbs. Uh, as you can see here, it took about 2 minutes and 54 seconds to heat up. Now in order to use the Volcano, you're going to grind up your herbs and pack a layer at the bottom of the filling chamber. The metal piece with the screen is called the filling chamber insert. The insert helps secure the herbs in the chamber because the fan blows up to fill the bag. Now it also helps to get a consistent vape on the herbs in the chamber. Once the chamber is loaded, just place the insert back in and press down slightly to compress the herbs. The next step is to place the chamber on the heating element. It's not completely secure, but it does have an exact fit. You will know if it's off center. You then take the solid valve attachment without the mouthpiece and attach it to the filling chamber. It will snap into place and secure to the top of the chamber. Now the balloons are made without softeners, which allow them to remain erect even when not filled. So you can position the balloon upwards and it will fill up without falling to the side. And then to begin filling the balloon, you will flip the green switch, which will turn on the fan. Uh, I found the typical times for the Volcano range from 30 to 45 seconds for your fills, depending on balloon size. Now one complaint some people have with the Volcano is the amount of sound it makes while filling the balloon. On the flip side, the fan is louder because it fills balloons faster than other desktop models. So what I'm going to do now is I'll go ahead and do a quick fill up of both the bags, so you can see the difference between the two and the speed between the two. Okay, so the volcano is done. Just place the mouthpiece on it like this. I'll set it to the side for now until this one's done filling up. Okay, so this one's done now. 
Now the balloon in this video is a bit bigger and it took a little more time to fill up. Once the balloon is full, remove the filling chamber from the heating element, press down on both sides of the solid valve attachment, and it will release, release from the filling chamber. From here, you will attach the mouthpiece to the valve and press in to release the vapor from the balloon. So now we'll jump into the vape session with the Volcano. First off, you'll notice the balloon in this video is a bit smaller. This is the size balloon I prefer to use when it's just me. Uh, I recommend starting your first balloon at level 5. After the first couple balloons, you can increase to level 6 or 7. Here I started off at level 6 to show the kind of vapor quality you can expect. Now once the balloon is full, flip the green button down to turn off the fan, and then remove the filling chamber from the heating element, detach the valve, and connect the mouthpiece. The Volcano's vapor density, quality, and unique design really set this desktop unit apart from all others. It's extremely easy to use, easy to maintain, and it's built to last. Now the Volcano is definitely not a portable unit, weighing in at 3.5 pounds, but if you do manage to bring it to a friend's house or have friends over at your place, the Volcano is definitely the life of the party. The solid valve attachment design is built extremely well and could take a beating. I normally just launch the balloon across the room to my friends and I never have to worry about it breaking. Also, these solid valve volcano balloons are super versatile because they allow you to create sizes for any type of smoking session. So you can make bigger balloons for sessions with friends that get about 5 to 7 hits per balloon, or you can even build a 10 foot balloon that will get you 15 plus hits. You can also create smaller balloons for single smoke sessions like this one while relaxing at home. Now in this vape session, you will notice a little bit of vapor escaping from the chamber due to overfilling the balloon a bit. It's not that big of a deal, but you can eliminate the vapor from escaping by not letting the balloon get too full. You can also see the orange light lit up between the red power switch and the green fan switch. The orange light lets you know when the heating element is on and showing that the unit is currently heating up. Once the desired temperature level has been reached, the orange light will shut off. Uh, as always, I recommend removing the chamber from the heating element after the balloon is full to help conserve your herbs. I also recommend removing the metal filling chamber insert after a couple balloons to stir up your herbs. Uh, this will make sure that you're getting a consistent vape of all your herbs and ensure the best vapor taste and quality. And then once your session is complete, you can either turn off the volcano or leave it on if you'll be back shortly. Okay, so now I'll talk about the pros and cons. First of all, the Volcano has the best vapor quality, vapor density, and taste of any vaporizer currently on the market. Now other units provide different features, but nothing compares to the Volcano. The overall build quality is also the best on the market. The Volcano has no finicky parts or design flaws. It's also extremely easy to use whether you get the Classic or the Digit, and you essentially never have to clean the Volcano if you go with the Easy Valve setup. Now the cons are the cost. At $539, it is currently one of the most expensive vaporizers on the market. But as I mentioned earlier in my previous videos, in this market you definitely get what you pay for. The size of the Volcano is by no means discreet. It is not a portable unit. It's definitely meant for a home use only. Also the time in which it takes for the Volcano to heat up could be considered a con, but it's not a deal breaker. Uh, the noise when filling the balloons is louder than its competitors, but as you saw earlier in the video, it fills up balloons in a fraction of the time. So I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch my Volcano Vaporizer review. If you are interested in buying the Volcano, you can click the link below for the current price through an authorized dealer. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll be making more vaporizer videos including tips and tricks, cleaning tutorials, and new vaporizer reviews. If you have any comments, suggestions, or ideas, feel free to leave them in the comment section here or on my website and I'll try to answer everything to the best of my ability. Thanks again and have a great day.